We are the Birdman. You might have seen my buddy Alan and I traveling the world looking for big fish on wild fish, wild places. Another great series here on the Sportsman Channel. With the Birdman, we're gonna keep it a little closer to home. My hometown, Fallon, Nevada, has had a lot of great hunting this year. I'm enjoying doing the Birdman show so much this year. Having these kids out and seeing their level of excitement, watching those birds and seeing the high fives and, and the way they just get fired up. When I come hunting with my dad, it's always one of the best times that I have. And every time we come hunting, there's always something new that I learn. This is what we got in the decoys today. We're having a little bit of, of a discussion whether uh, we know what it is or not. Some guys think it's a mallard pintail cross, and I might believe it's a uh, farm duck wild mallard cross. You guys, make sure you guys take the opportunity to get these kids involved wherever you're at. They're the future of our sport. Now on this hunt, we're going to the National Stillwater Wildlife Refuge. Getting things fired up here. The motor warms up. We break a hole in the ice. Get the boat in. Probably got about a 15-minute run out here. We got to pull the boat through some spots. We got to break some ice. It's going to be pretty, pretty tricky. It's back where we're hunting. We got a pole set up where there's a couple hundred swans and maybe about a thousand ducks working. We're going to take the kids and one cameraman. And we're going to walk in and meet them. They're taking all of our gear on to where we're going to be. We're doing now. We had a little skim ice from this morning. All the birds got out of here. We had a little bit of freeze on here. Giving ourselves a big open hole here. We start setting up some decoys. We got a pretty big spread to do today. So what we got here, we got the big hole open up in front of us. It's got the boat parked on the other side of the hole. So when those ducks and swans come in to work the hole, it kind of keeps them off of that far edge to suck up to where we're at because we got to try to pull them to this big tule edge that we're sitting in. We got a jerk string working back here and two big pockets of birds, a big hole in the middle. We have the blind set up and the cattails right behind us and we're going to get in and it's a waiting game. Well, what we're going to do, since we have so many decoys out, when they're at a distance, I'm going to try to probably have everybody call. Okay. I mean, we want to make a racket, a lot of noise, sound like a big flock of geese. Once those birds start to break down, All right. we'll probably back off, ease off the calling a little bit. There comes a point where you try to rely on the decoys to do the work for you. Here we go, we're at the uh, Lahontan Valley Bird Dog Championship. We're gonna go out here, they've set up a really nice display for us. We're gonna get in behind a couple of kids, future fowlers, and show them how the dogs work. Hopefully we're gonna start with a pointer, get a nice point on them, and we're gonna show how they do this whole competition. Nice! So now we got the uh, the flushing dog dog part of the competition. Now Elsie's gonna go up, she's gonna find the dog, flush it, and when the when the bird flushes, she's gonna sit down immediately, right? And then these boys are gonna take care of business. Get it! There it is! Get it, Sean! Nice! <laughs> that was uh that was too perfect. That dog slid in there. You seen her. You seen the dog work around and she got on the scent and it kind of came out messed up so it hung up right in front of me and the uh <laughs> it was not pretty not at all
passion. This is what drives us. We are the Birdman.